My name is Pam Tataro. I am a multi-dimensional energy healer, paranormal medium, teacher, and I founded the Conscious Spirit to bring people to a place where they could find the truth about themselves and their life and where they're going, their destiny through spirit. And whether you say spirit, God, the universe, whatever your verbiage is for that all connected consciousness that we're all part of, that's what I do. And I've been doing it for over, for almost three years. I can tell you my whole life I was connected. My whole life I was psychic, but I had no idea. So really my whole childhood, I had, you know, sort of in quotes, imaginary friends, people that I talked to and relied on. I come from a very abusive home that was very, it was very scary. It was a really scary place, have a lot of trauma. I had always been told by, you know, my imaginary friends, which now I know are my guides, that there was more to life, hang in there, you're strong, you can do this, you have a purpose, there's more for you. It was in my early 20s when that really made sense to me. Went, oh, okay, and I need to heal. It's really going to enlighten my whole world if I stop being, you know, when you're when you're abused the way I was, there's all the trauma, your whole life sort of becomes a victim. Like you're a victim of everyone. Every time something happens to you, I would see it as, oh, these people are doing it on purpose, or I'm just not good enough, so I can't have that, or whatever, just that victim mentality. And at some point, it just dawned on me that I didn't want to live that way anymore. And that's not what God has in store for us. We're not meant to stay in that low vibration. We're meant to, you know, get our ass kicked growing up. That's part of life. No one gets out of their childhood unscathed. We're not meant to. Those are the lessons that we're meant to learn and or at least go through. And then we have the adopted thinking and the emotions and everything that goes along with it. And then at some point in our adulthood, it's time to change that. It's time to heal. It's time to really evolve and learn what we're meant to learn. And I started out with regular talk therapy. And at some point that just wasn't enough. My husband actually gave me a book one day and I, I still can't remember her name, but it was a, she was a famous psychic at the time. And you know, this was a long time ago. And I read her book and the whole time I would, I just started crying and I was like, this was my life. This is exactly it. And there's more for me. And at that point is when I started really opening up to spirit. And I was right about 30 when that big revelation happened, started energy healing, getting into energy healing and learning more about who I am and what belongs to me and what doesn't belong to me. The stuff that other people put on me, the traumas, the wounding, the adopted thinking and working through that. And through working through that, spirit kept giving me more gifts. And I realized I was meant to be a healer and to help other people work through their traumas. Everyone has gifts. They don't all look the same. Not everyone's meant to be, you know, sort of psychic, but we all have gifts. We all have something to share with the world. I do what's called multidimensional energy healing. And the reason it's called multidimensional energy healing is we as humans are multidimensional. We have many layers, many um, energetic layers. And then I work with spirit teams that are in spirit. So that's another dimensional piece of it. I also work with the paranormal. So I work with regular, what we call earthbound spirits. And it's my belief that they all deserve to be crossed over, to go home, to go to those higher realms, to what we might call heaven. So that's something that I do. That's part of the multi-dimensional piece. Also, I work with 
very low vibrational beings. Some people call them demons. Um, I don't typically call them that, but that's what they are. So multidimensional is in all, all the realms, just like I'm saying, all the dimensions. When it comes to actual humans that I'm working with, what I'm able to do, what part of my gifting is, is to sit with you and to bring up those traumas in a way that you can see them, you can get clarity on them. Because one of the things that happens is through abuse, there's so many lies and so many ways, you know, we're just children when we're learning how to deal with it. And we don't know how to cope and how to, to deal. So we do the best we can with our little brains that aren't even fully functional yet. So as adults, when we start energy healing, certainly with me is we talk about those things and those things just come up and it's really you're getting your own answers i'm helping facilitate that and and i'll get hits on what your trauma was etc but it's really about you finding the truth understanding what really happened forgiving yourself for carrying that baggage all those years forgiving yourself for the way you expressed i can say through the traumas in my life anger was was very acceptable in my home that was pretty much the emotion that was acceptable was anger so i learned how to be an angry person so i was always angry and i'd yell at people and i was just not the kindest person so through my process of healing was to come to terms with why i did that what I was really trying to say, what the wounding really is, you know, I'm sort of weeding that all out, disconnecting myself from adopted thinking that I had that was placed on me from other people. So that's really what multidimensional energy healing is. When I sit down with someone and I help another person work through all of that. There's another piece of it is sometimes we don't even realize that that the particular behavior that we have came from wounding. We are meant to be objective. We are meant to be calmer than that and more balanced. At least that's the goal. So those kind of things, no, that's not just you. That comes from trauma or from wounding. So we really sort of delve into those sort of things with, with healings and to help you see who you really are, who spirit wants you to be, who your spirit is, and how to express yourself in a healthy way, in an evolved way, and heal. There was a man that reached out to us and he had moved to a new home. He lived in, in, in Arizona. He immediately, he knew that there was something in his home, he wasn't sure. And all of a sudden he started having heart problems. The doctor could not figure out why he was having these heart issues. He had heart palpitations. They took all, you know, a battery of tests and everything. He would have a hard time breathing and it was getting kind of dire, but the doctors couldn't figure out anything. He had contacted us for, to, to do a clearing on his home. So we go and we clear the earthbound spirits out of his home. We clear the land. Let me see my drum back here, drumming, bringing the land up. He went to the doctor like the next day, next couple days after that anyway, and the tests were completely clear. There was, that was it. They were clear. It was the, the earthbound spirits in his home that were physically making him sick. So then he asked for a healing after that because he had some, some traumas that he wanted to take care of. So we sat down and we went through this healing and his traumas were coming up. And there was a moment when he, it was like he accepted, I can't say he was an atheist before because he wasn't necessarily an atheist, but he, he really wasn't much of a believer. He started to believe after we cleared his home, he started feeling better. And then through this healing, his, his childhood stuff was coming up. And what was really coming up was how his father just didn't believe in anything. There, he wasn't raised that way. 
And the moment that it was almost, it was honestly, it was like he was in a spotlight at one moment. And the realization that there was something bigger than him, that there is a God, spirit, the universe, again, whatever you want to, whatever title you want to add there. And it was absolutely amazing. And he has gone on to really continue with his healing, to find a practice of his own. He's an artist, and so he's been painting more now. He's bought different little animals in the for you know, like a like a hobby farm, that sort of thing. And kids in the neighborhood come and they play with the animals. He teaches them art. And that is all part of spirit. When we first met him, he was depressed. He was in pain. He really kind of thought his life was over. And then after a few sessions, we cleared his house. In a couple of sessions, his whole world just opened up. And it's such a testimony, I think, to, to God, to spirit. When we embrace this higher knowledge, when we embrace this wisdom and that we're all connected and there is something more than just this, this lifetime and this physical body, your whole life can change. And I certainly saw it in, in his case and many like him. When you feel joy, when you feel laughter, that is that high vibration. That is your soul resonating with, with something that's beautiful and kind and matches your energy. So we see everything, or I see everything in terms of vibration, low vibration to high vibration. There's really two, two distinct categories. There's love and there's fear. Fear is all the lower vibrations, is anger, is jealousy, depression, any of those sort of emotions that, that emote from you that are lower vibration, that's all part of fear. You're, you fear something, there's something in there that's fearful and that's the way you're expressing yourself. And then there's love and that's, you know, joy, kindness, compassion, empathy, all of those. So anytime that you laugh, you find something that's really, that you really find joy in, that's spirit. That is your soul connecting with an energy of a high vibration and that spirit. To begin with, to really understand it, you have to sort of start in that, in that realm of love in that department and, and feel it. When we really want something or we don't know that we want it, but something happens and it's this thing that you just kind of sit there and you shake your head and you say, oh, this is a coincidence. I just, I just talked about this the other day or this is exactly what I need and here it is sitting there. That's all spirit. And it's not outside of you. We have spirit within us. We are spirit. We're more spiritual than we are physical. That's all part of spirit. And to see it that way can be really hard for people, but that's that's the truth. When those things happen, there are no coincidences. Though Everything is meant to happen. And it's meant to happen in divine timing and when it's supposed to happen. I would say pay attention to those moments when that joy hits you. That's love. That's love of spirit. That's love within yourself. And you're expressing that. And God is showing you that. Absolutely. It's all around us. Everything is, is spirit. Everything has a vibration. Everything is energy. The part that makes it like spiritual for me is when it lands like in your heart. When you're out, say, walking through the forest and you become really calm and peaceful and you, you can hear things, you know, you can hear like a bug crawling up a tree or, or something it's because you become still and you're working through your spiritual self. So yeah, absolutely. The, the world around you does make a difference and you can see spirit in, in absolutely everything. But it all, in my opinion, it all connects to it. The reason we see it, we feel it, we hear it, we know it is because it comes through our soul. It sort of like, like taps on us. 
on, on our spirit. Everyone is connected. First of all, let me say, everyone is connected. Everyone is that old saying, but it's absolutely true. A spiritual being having a human experience. All of us are. The sort of caveat there is whether you choose to believe that or not. So it's really up to every, it's a choice. I choose to believe this. I choose to know that I'm a spiritual being. I choose to walk this path. I choose to use the wisdom of spirit that's all around me. I I choose to evolve in this way. So it's it's a choice. I've been doing this for a long time. So I've certainly had people come to me and say, I don't really believe, but you know, my sister told me I had to come here because I need some healing or whatever. Even when people say that, the fact that they've come to me says that there's 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 a little bit of belief in there. There's a little bit of light in there. And it's just helping them open up to it. Sometimes it takes a while to to get them to open up so much of our traumas and our wounding. And we're taught that physical things mean so much. You know, what car we drive, what we wear, what we own, the money we have. And, and that's all well and good. We need certainly need money to survive as a human, no doubt about it. But those are not the most important things. Again, you are a spiritual being. We all are. And on one hand, yes, life is supposed to be hard, but those come to us as challenges, as lessons that we're meant to learn. And when we get through them, to praise ourselves for the fact that we got through it, that we are strong, that nothing is holding us down. There is more for absolutely everyone. Healing is truly the answer and moving through life in a spiritual way is so very important, is what your soul is longing for. There are so many people out there it's certainly in the past like 10 years, it seems to be more than I've ever known it, is people are asking, why am I here? What's the difference? What what does it matter what I do? Everything falls apart, you know, that sort of like they're not worth it. And I want everyone to know you are worth it. Everyone has worth. And in hum being human, we are we are sort of taught we're sort of almost, it's almost like we're born without a piece of our, our worth. That's the thing that we're trying to find throughout our life is our worth that everyone has value. Everyone has value. Everyone has something to offer. Find that thing that you're meant to offer. Start helping other people. Start seeing other people in a different light that you know, that, that person that you don't like because they're so cranky all the time and they're mean and they're whatever, that person is traumatized. That person is expressing themselves out of probably the dislike for themselves. To try, so to try and see people a little differently, to try and see that we're all here just trying to figure it out and to give grace to people who who can't find it for themselves. That is what TCS, the conscious spirit, that's what TCS really stands for. That's what my mission in life really is, is to help people see that they have worth, they have value. There's a reason that they're here to find love, that true love within you that comes only from spirit. And we give you the grace to find that.